Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be throwing it back. I'm going to be doing a haul video with you guys and I'm just going to be opening up some stuff that I got sent by YSL. Um, silence my phone. I'll go over some product empties that I have um, and then I'm also going to start by opening P.O. Box mail. So uh, let's get into it. So first of all, I hope everyone had a really good Mother's Day weekend. I know that I did. I was with my mom on Mother's Day. We took her out to breakfast. And then after that, we went to this art festival that was like down the street from me there. And then afterwards we went to the barn, spent some time with the horses. And, and then I made a cute like tribute video to her and I posted it on all my socials. So yeah. I also called my dad and checked in on my stepmom. I do have a stepmom and I sent her some Donna's recipe, sweet potato pie, like hair stuff because it's amazing. And then for my mom, I got her three plants. I got her a baby ponytail palm, a yellow button fern, like a little one. And then what was the third one? Oh, and then I got her a golden barrel cactus. I have a new Simply Modern tumbler. This is like peach colored, duh. So I have green and I have this one. Let's get into what was sent to the P.O. box. I have a big package this week that came and it says keep being amazing. Shout out to Melanie. That's who sent this package and we're gonna go through it together because it's fun to go through everything together. Oh, okay. So we have fairy garden stuff. This is a little bird. Okay, this is so cute. This is gonna go in the fairy garden for sure. Y'all are so sweet. This is a little nest. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so cute. I'm definitely doing fairy garden stuff this week. Oh, we have like a sign. Is this a sign? Please be a sign. I mean, look, I don't care. You, you gotta expect that at least one thing's gonna break when you're shipping things, so I don't even, I, I don't care. Look how cute this is. Ooh, this is some sort of bird. This is a bird. Oh, this is a beautiful goldfinch. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Thing. I love little trinkets. If y'all can't already tell, like I love trinkets. They make me so happy. I love miniature stuff. <gasps> oh, this is a miniature little cardinal. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite bird. I have a big one of these at my front door, like a big one of these right at my front door. This is so cute. This is going to go in the indoor fairy garden. Definitely, this is going in the indoor fairy garden. Okay, we have another figurine. Oh, this one's gonna, this is like a bee. Oh, oh, okay. Stop. That's so cute. That is so cute. I'm gonna hang this outside. Oh, a big one, a bigger one. Stop, it's a set. This is adorable, I love it. Box, it's purple. First of all, I love this box. I'm keeping this box. <laughs> I'll be reusing this box. Oh! I love how everything's like perfectly packaged and wrapped. Like this is literally the sweetest thing. Is this a bird? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's two of them. It says peace. So cute. That's adorable. Okay, we got another little trinket. Oh, this one's real little. This one's little. <gasps> is this a rabbit? Oh, it is. <laughs> so cute. Look, it's a little rabbit. I love it. I feel like this is crazy. <gasps> oh, oh, this is so cute. Look, they're coming out the little nest. My fairy garden is literally about to upgrade in ways that I never thought. Like, oh, a hedgehog. Do y'all see it? These are so cute. I love little trinkets like this. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's two things in here. Oh, this one broke. Honestly, I'll be able to glue this back though. Oh, this is so pretty. It's a little statue of a girl with birds. This is, oh, this is a little boy. The frog and fishes. That's so cute. It's a little boy and girl statue. Oh! Okay, what is this? A mini garden accessory. This, oh, this is a chair and like a desk. Oh, stop it right now. Stop it right now. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. 
Should I start like just a miniature channel at this point? Because I feel like I have enough stuff to where like I could do like a whole miniature channel and like have a set and be like, Porcupine's going to eat. <laughs> I don't know, you know, like the mini creators. One of my dearest YouTube friends is a mini creator. Um, this is so cute. This is a little table with a teapot and a wooden chair. I'm in love right now. I'm in heaven. Oh, there's all these little things. Oh, little owl. There's things that like came out. <gasps> Stop. These are little pinwheels. Oh. Oh my gosh, I love them. This is the most thoughtful gift. And it's just like so unexpected. Thank you so much, Melanie. Oh, we got another hedgehog. Yes. Basket. Oh my gosh. This is cute. These are two little baskets. Are you kidding me right now? Y'all, like when I tell you, like I'm about to have a fairy garden. Like thing is one more little like hedgehog one more thing i missed one more one more let's see what this is please be a gnome or something be a gnome what is this oh it's a sloth it's a sloth it's unexpected <laughs> it's so cute thank you literally from the bottom of my heart to the subscriber melanie that sent me all of this cute stuff for my fairy garden Thank you so much, and I'm definitely gonna be making a fairy garden video for you guys this week because now I have all of this cute stuff. I literally start a whole nother one. Well, anyways, thank you so much, and I love you guys. And as always, I have a P.O. box if you ever wanna send me a letter, or you wanna send a package, or pretty much any, you wanna send anything to me, I have a P.O. box that I pay to just keep open, just in case anyone wants to take it upon themselves to send anything. P.O. box is, the address to it, um, I guess I'll put it in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the video for today. Now, today's video is relatively just simple. I'm going to um, go through some product empties with you guys, and then at the end, we're gonna do a little PR unboxing because I did get some goodies from the brands that love me, YSL and Beauty Stat. So I'll show you guys what they sent me in the mail and um, let's get into these product empties. I have four products and I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on them. One of them is kind of controversial because of the brand, but I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. Keep it 100% real. Um, so the first product is from Beauty Stat. Mind you, they send me mail. But this was actually one of the first things that they sent to me when I was first, like, kind of like, when I have a relationship with a skincare brand, I want to try this stuff for at least, like, two months and then make claims on it, like, then talk about it because I don't really know if it's doing anything off of, like, one use or no use or two uses. Like, I need to use it for a solid minute to know what's going on um, b before I even do anything. So... Beauty Stat had sent me this travel size universal microbiome barrier balancing cleanser. And this is what it looks like. It has vegan ceramides, clean chemistry. Um, and the one thing that I noticed about this is that it has a unique color. See the color? Um, it kind of has that like, it has like a shiny color to it. I honestly, loved this and that's why I used it all the way through. Um, do I think that this is my favorite cleanser? No, I think it's very clarifying. It helps with my blemishes. It helps with, I think just like even skin tone in general. However, I would rate this below Tula's Cult Classic Cleanser. I still feel like Tula's Cult Classic Cleanser is on top. It's a good cleanser. And apparently this brand is like one of Hailey Bieber's favorite skincare brands and it's a good cleanser, but it's not like a, the best or like a holy grail cleanser or anything like that. There's nothing really that special about it. It works just as well as pretty much any other skincare cleanser of this tier, if that makes sense. Did you go out of your way to buy this? The travel size, going out of your way? No, but if you see the travel size and you can pick it up, you should try it. 
Should you get the full size, do the travel size first. Also, I mean, it's not like, it didn't have me, it didn't have me be like, wow. There was no wow factor with this. It was pretty much just like, yes, this works well. Yes, this does the job. You know what I mean? Like there was nothing that I was like, oh wow, this is different. This is different because X, Y, Z. This isn't really much different from any of the other cleansers that I use, except for Tula's Cult Classic. Tula's Cult Classic is like, it makes you feel clean. Like you feel clean, clean, clean. This is a good cleanser, but it's not the best. And it's probably on the more expensive side in terms of like the full size of this. So if you're just starting out with cleansers and you're not really like, oh, I want to try a new brand or da da da, I wouldn't get this. Doesn't mean it's not a good product, but this is not for like, this isn't really like beginner friendly. Um, this is very niche. That's my review on it. That's like my honest review on it. Next product empty is going to be Pacifica's Scalp Love Rosemary Mint Serum. This is literally one of my holy grail products. This is a dropper and what you do with the dropper is you put it like this into your hair and this has caused my hair to grow exponentially. I swear, exponentially. I love the rosemary, I love the mint because the thing is like I have rosemary in my backyard and I know that rosemary helps with hair growth and all of that and so seeing that in here makes me like be like, okay, cool. This is also vegan and cruelty free. I absolutely love their products. My favorite hair growth serum, period. End of discussion. There's no comparison. There's no, com there's no competition. There's no competition other than maybe Donna's Recipes strength oil. But even then, if you don't like tea tree, honey, that product's not for you because it is loud with tea tree. So this is like very, subtle with the smell it's not overpowering it works very well it works fast like give it like a week or two you literally will start seeing some growth i swear to you like it's supposed to purify and revive and when i tell you it revives if your your hair follicles are all dormant i'm telling you right now it's like bleh, like it's like wake up all of a sudden i swear like i literally doubled my hair growth um you can look up pictures of when I chopped my hair like to here and now it's like all is all down my back now. So I started using serum like that was what I did differently because people are like your hair has grown so much. What I did differently was use serum this in particular. And then when I ran out of this, I made it myself, you know, X, Y, Z. But at the end of the day, this is my favorite. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you try this. 100%, 10 out of 10, recommend, period. This is a product that I did not, this is a product that I was not impressed with. I didn't really feel like writing home about it. Um, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You're probably thinking, you're probably thinking one of two things. You're probably like, duh, it's Drunk Elephant. Of course, of course you don't like it. Or you're sitting here like, what do you mean? What do you mean? This is Drunk Elephant's Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I like it because it has a twisty top that has nothing to do with the product itself, but the application is fun to do because it's twisty. Um, now, mind you, this is a hydration serum. So this is basically equivalent to Bubble has one that you like pump, I have it. Um, this is $50. And as we know, Drunk Elephant is on the more expensive side. It's going to be, you know, 50, probably $30 to like upwards of 100 for a product. This was 50, somewhere in the middle. And so I was like, let me try it. Let me buy it and try it. And I went through, I went through the whole thing. And my honest opinion is that this is not strong enough. Like it's simply not strong enough. It's not strong enough to make me buy another $50 thing of this like it's just not because it's like there might be like a couple pumps left on here where I can show y'all yeah like it's not look at the consistency okay so it's very thin it immediately goes onto the skin and 
it doesn't necessarily like stick around and create like a very soft like film or like anything like that. I wouldn't even say that it really like stays on the skin very long at all, honestly. Like, and, and it almost feels better on my palm than it does on my face. Another thing is it's sticky. It's sticky and I don't like that. Like I'm, I can feel it on my fingers right now. I don't like sticky um, skincare products because if I'm going to be layering products, I don't want my face sticky and then I'm putting on makeup afterwards. So I found this to be, yeah, sticky. I found this to be um, not strong enough for me, meaning I'm putting this on and I still feel dry. Um, I find this to be a little bit overpriced for what it's providing. A little overpriced. Little, maybe a lot of overpriced for what it's providing. Truthfully, their products are what they are. They're priced how they're priced. And that's fine. But I just feel like this is not worth $50 because it didn't really do anything for me. Like, I had to put on cream immediately afterwards. Like, this is a hydration serum. So I should feel at least somewhat, like, fully hydrated. I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't absolutely have to pair this with something else that's stronger in order for this to work. Which at that point, is this even the one that's working or is it the other product that I'm adding? For example, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, I'll mix with this. But at the end of the day, this really doesn't do much. Truthfully, I would recommend this to children. Um, I would recommend this to the Sephora children. I would recommend this to a younger audience. This is going to be like, I mean, in terms of Drunk Elephant, this is going to be pretty light. It's literally just a hydration serum. And yeah, it has a cool twisty top. Like honestly, the twisty top is probably the best thing about this product. Um, but I did go through the entire thing. And I will not be buying this again. I might buy something else from Drunk Elephant, but it won't be this. Next up, we have another cult classic, and this is the final product, so we're ending on a cult classic for our product empties. Um, this is Kristen S's Scalp Purifying Micellar Shampoo. Y'all already know, if you watch my videos, that I love this because of the tip, because you can get right up into where you need to. Um, this is so clarifying. Like, if someone asked me what they should do with their hair and they're like what should i do for a shampoo conditioner I recommend a clarifying shampoo like this the micellar shampoo and then a super conditioning conditioner super moisturizing conditioner because this for me removes all impurities removes all buildup it removes everything it's very sc it's scalp purifying as it says deep cleansing shine boosting scalp hydrating removes buildup yep strand fortifying they also have the same bottle for the the curl shampoo same bottle but personally if you can find the micellar shampoo i highly recommend this even if you have the curl conditioner i do not recommend i, I genuinely and i'm a kristen s girly genuinely i do not recommend that you pair the curl conditioner with the curl shampoo in this bottle you should pair this shampoo with any of the other conditioners from Kristen S. If anything, the softening conditioner that they just came out with is fire. Um, that's what I'm using right now. So current routine is Donna's Recipes Sweet Potato Pie Shampoo. And then for my conditioner, I'm using Kristen S's softening conditioner, which she came out with recently. So I love Kristen S. Y'all already know. I feel like it's an affordable brand, but it's also like kind of upscale. Um, and it really delivers. It does a great job. And it's for all hair types. What more could you ask for? Look at this tip. Those are all of my product empties that I wanted to show you guys. So now let's get into a little bit of PR that was sent to me. And that's a wrap. So YSL loves me. I love YSL. Period. They First of all, YSL literally comes through with the most beautiful packaging and they literally just be sending me stuff. They come through with the most beautiful packaging, period, end of discussion, where it really feels like I'm receiving a gift. And I'm like, uh, like, no matter what it is. So I was like, oh, what am I getting? Like, what is, this? what is this, honey? What is this, honey? And this is their 
This is their new Iconic Light Coverage Concealer and Brightener Hybrid. So this is like a concealer brightener pen. And I was like, oh, okay, this is really cool because, you know, I don't really have a lot of like dark circles or anything like that. But if I'm gonna do a full face of makeup, I am gonna put on concealer. And so for this, let's see if they gave me two different shades or if it's the same thing. I got two of them, two of these, and let's see. Oh, it, it's like a pen. So this is like a brush, and this is the Radiant Touch. What does this do? I'm very curious. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to pump this and see what happens. Oh, okay, there it is. It's coming out. Y'all see it? It's coming out. Oh. 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 Okay, YSL. You know what? Let me let me just do it. I'm doing it. I'm going in. This is supposed to be brightening. I like that the applicator you can actually just use. It doesn't seem like you need a, a beauty blender for this, I guess. You wouldn't need it as much. I love this. I love this. I mean, it's pretty subtle, but the shade matches me and I will definitely be using this. And very simple. I'm here for it. And honestly, and they gave me the right shade. I love it. They literally gave me the perfect shade for me. It's like, how did how did y'all know my perfect shade? But it's very subtle, so I can kind of see. I don't know if y'all can see, but like I can kind of see that this this side has more of a bag visible than this side now because of what I just put on. Like this bag is more visible. I don't know. I don't know. Why so sent me these? Um and I love it. And it's apparently like eight hours of sleep in a click. Cause it's supposed to like get rid of like your wrinkles and like all of your stuff and make it look like you went to sleep. <laughs> Thank you YSL so much for sending me this amazing duo of brightening pens. And I will definitely be using these. And I'm probably gonna make a TikTok about this because every time YSL sends me something, I give them a proper recognition because I'm sorry. It's YSL. <laughs> now, the next and final thing is that I got some PR from Beauty Stat, which was the brand that I showed you guys earlier. So they sent me this. And the cool thing about this is that I'm gonna be doing um, a video doing this, but I'm not gonna do it right now. But essentially, this is like a little chemistry kit that they sent me, and it, it says, be the chemist. So essentially what it is, is it contains their Universal C Skin Refiner, which is this product. This is their Universal C Skin Refiner. It, the applicator is like this. It's, I'll put it on right now. See why this brand is a fan favorite and also a favorite by like people like Hailey Bieber. I can see that. 100% because I have enough beauty stat stuff to be like, yeah, I can see it. What this is, is really cool because they actually sent me some pH testing strips here um, in an envelope for the strips. So these are pH testing strips. pH is essentially um, measuring how basic or acidic something is. So it's a scale. There's a pH scale, which I'm sure you guys have probably heard of, and it's colored and it's numbered and... Um, you have a point of neutrality, and then of course you have points of basic versus super acidic. So basically, this is celebrating National Vitamin C Day all month long. And what I'm gonna be doing in a video is basically, I'm gonna be taking, be doing like an experiment. Like it comes with, I love this so much, love this so much, it comes with this. 
And the fact that like I am a scientist, I'm like, oh, let's do an experiment. Let's go, baby, let's go. So it says, be the chemist. So the pure and stable L-ascorbic acid, I think that's how you say it, ascorbic acid, within our universal sea refiner activates on skin with skin's water. This test will show you how without water, our formula remains stable. And with water, you can see the actives working by the test strip color change. So basically just from that description, essentially this experiment is saying that this contains an acid and it's activated by water. And so the L-ascorbic acid, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the acid mixed with H2O, water, essentially creates Acidity. Acidity would be shown on a pH scale and a pH testing strip. Without water, it's talking about it being basic. So essentially, it's essentially saying without water, it's going to be on this end of the pH scale. And with water, it's going to be closer to this end of the pH scale, acidic versus basic. It's to show the difference as to what this can do and to show real time of like, this is what the pH is with water. This is what the pH is without water. Let me read you guys the steps. So it says to apply one to two pumps of the skin refiner straight onto one of the paper strips and spread it thick and let it sit. And then in your provided beaker, pour a little less than one fourth a cup of water. So step three is adding one to two pumps of the Universal C skin refiner to the water beacon and stirring it as best as you can, mixing it for approximately 30 seconds. And then step four is gonna be taking a bare strip and putting it into the water solution with the vitamin C. You're gonna keep it down for at least five seconds. You're gonna pull it out and you're gonna set it down. For step five, it's taking the original strip that you just put the product itself without water on. You're gonna kind of wipe the product off of that strip and you're going to see that the value has no change. The second strip, you wipe the excess off of. You should see a color change, which means that there's a change in pH when adding water to this. You did it. Step six, you did it. You're a scientist. You're a chemist. You're ready for the lab. <laughs> you're hired. I'm going to be doing this little experiment, experiment this week. Why not? Also, it's super easy. It's super fun, super easy, super simple. And literally it's just saying that with water, this becomes acidic and without water, it remains completely stable as is. Thank you Beauty Stat for this really fun uh, mailer. And thank you for the cool experiment that I'm gonna do again to YSL. Thank you to the subscriber who sent me a bunch of fairy garden stuff. Thank you to y'all for watching my product empties video. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I hope that like a small miracle happens to you. I hope that your week is amazing. And if it's not, hey, that's life. It is what it is. And we can sit here and cry together. We can sit here and cry together. I'm here for you. So I love y'all very much. Thank you for tuning in as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.